Hi everyone, I'm Billy Rutledge from the AIY team at Google, and we're here today at CES uh, in the NXP Pavilion to uh, introduce our new product, the Edge TPU Dev Board, uh, that features our Edge TPU chip combined with the uh, NXP IMX8 SoC uh, as a kit for developers to experiment with artificial intelligence for the first time. Uh, so the board itself uh, is actually two pieces. It's the base board here, uh, which has all the connectors that most developers would use to prototype a new product idea. And then the, uh, the, the SOM module, uh, SOM, includes the CPU, GPU, and TPU chip, as well as the memory and, and Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And it actually snaps into the baseboard uh, using high density connectors. And so uh, that allows you to experiment with the actual hardware uh, in, a, in a development setting, but be able to buy the SOM part uh, for a production line uh, when you're ready to take your smart speaker, smart dishwasher, smart TV uh, to a scalable uh, production plan. Uh, so today we're showcasing a few different demos of how uh, you might uh, experiment with this type of technology and hoping to uh, inspire people to explore using uh, AI on the edge. Hi, my name is Peter Malkin. I work for Google. I'm a software tech lead for AI projects and today we're showing you a demo of facial detection that runs on Edge TPU. The key point about Edge TPU is the privacy and security. From now on, your pixels do not need to travel to a data center. You do not need to contribute your data to any company. You can run all your ma machine learning inference locally on the chipset. In this case, in particular, we've tried a network that can recognize human face, and it's running locally on device on a small embedded system that runs um, Linux. Hi, my name is June Tate Gans. I'm actually one of the software engineers uh, working on AOI projects. Uh, one of our demos here at, uh, at CES is actually a teachable machine uh, where we actually uh, use local inference to train a model directly on the device with no network connectivity. We call this our teachable machine demo, and it's right here. Um, and essentially it has a camera pointing up at the sky. Now the first thing I have to do is train it to teach it about what the background is so it can differentiate between the objects I'm about to show it and what the background is. And the first thing I do is I press one of these buttons to actually tell it what it's looking at. So now it knows what the background is. I can now train it on an object. In this particular case, I'm going to use this ice cream. So hold the ice cream over, press the button, and now it can differentiate between background and ice cream. And you know it's machine learning and doing inference because I can show it a different color and get the same result. And this can be extended to other uh, objects as well, so such as this uh, hot dog. So a hot dog, ice cream, hot dog again. And the same thing with the donut. So donut, hot dog, and ice cream. Hello, my name is Leonid. I work for Google for AIY Project and I will talk about our dwell type demo here. So if you not, you can notice that under each of the our bigger demos, we have a small display underneath with the web camera and it shows the time and that's important uh, characteristic because it tracks how much time people spend looking at the other bigger demo. And you can notice that uh, we display the bounding boxes around the people faces. So here's my face and there is a green box showing that I'm looking toward the uh, demo stand. And if I turn away, like right now, you can probably see the red uh, box. I'm not sure myself, but it should have been red. Uh, and this has been run totally on the development board. You can notice that behind the display, we have the same boards like all the other demos here. Uh, so there is no internet or cloud connection required. And that's good application because we are ourselves ourselves interested how at uh, how many people are looking at other bigger demos. And you can notice like in the middle we have something like four and a half hours right now, and in the corner stand there's like slightly more than three hours. It's quite explainable, but still interesting uh, statistics together. So we're just beginning to scratch the surface of what's possible with artificial intelligence today. And we're excited to offer the Google Edge TPU dev kit for the world to experiment with on-device AI, uh, specifically to explore um, the capabilities with high performance on-device, uh, security with having all the data on the board itself, 
and performance by being able to process everything locally on the machine. We think it will open up a world of opportunities for new product development, and we're excited to see what you might build with it next.